And now for our last formula from 5.3 from pre-cal, okay? This is power reducing formulas. So the whole goal here is to end up without any exponents, okay? So um, sine squared of theta becomes one minus cosine double of whatever theta was given over two. Cosine squared is the same thing, but with a plus. So just like in the last formula that sine had the minus and cosine had the plus, same exact formula though. And then again, just like last time, the fact that tangent had the minus from the sine over the plus from the cosine, okay? So again, the goal here is to rewrite our exponents with powers of two so that we can end up using these formulas. So for example, if I give you a sine to the fifth, that means there's five of them. So I can write two of them, two of them, and one of them so that I can use the formula on these two and then end up with no exponents no powers. Again, that's why it's called power reducing formulas. Okay. So let's check out this first one. I have cosine to the fourth power. Okay. So I'm going to write this as cosine squared of X times cosine squared of X. So now I have two of these. Okay. So it's going to become one plus cosine of two of them, this is x instead of theta, all over two, times, same exact thing, one plus cosine two x over two, okay? So now I'm gonna multiply straight across, okay? Since I have two terms in my numerator, I'm gonna have to foil this. Okay, so one times one is one. One times cosine of two x. Again, cosine of x times one. And now cosine two x times cosine of two x gives me a cosine squared of two x. And all of this is over two times two, which is four, okay? So now I'm gonna write, I'm gonna start splitting this up a little bit, okay? This denominator four belongs to all of them. So to make our lives a little easier, I'm gonna call this a one over four plus, there's gonna be two of these, right? So let me do it with a different color pen. These two are going to combine, and there are going to be two of them. So one-fourth, right, because of that four, times there are two cosines of 2x, and then plus one-fourth times cosine squared of 2x. So all I've done so far is instead of dividing everything by four, I've multiplied everything by one fourth, okay? So I've gotten down from an exponent of four to not only having one exponent of two. So I'm just gonna use that formula one more time here, okay? So I have this one fourth, I'm just bringing it down, plus one fourth times two is one half, cosine of two x, plus bringing down this one fourth, and instead of writing cosine squared of two x, I'm gonna use this formula. So the formula has one plus cosine of double whatever was my theta. In this case, my theta was a two x, so if I need to double it in the formula, it's gonna become a four x, and all over two, okay? so. Now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna rewrite the fourth plus one half cosine of two X plus I'm gonna rewrite this one fourth and then in here I'm gonna divide each of them by two. So one half plus one half cosine of four X, okay? So again, that two I gave it underneath the one and then plus one half of all of this. So what I need to do now is distribute this one fourth 
technically I'm done getting rid of my exponents. Now my next step is just to clean. And I'm going to come up here so I'm running out of room. Okay. So I have one fourth plus half cosine of two X plus one fourth times one half is one eighth plus one eighth cosine of four X. And my last step is that I have a fourth and an eighth that I can combine. So instead of calling this one over four, I'm going to call it two over eight so that I can add it with this one over eight. Okay. Which is going to give me three over eight. And now just rewrite my plus half cosine of two X. I already combined that and now plus one over eight cosine of four X and I'm done. Let's do one more so we can practice these steps. Okay. So now I have six times the sine of four X. Okay. I'm going to, that six is a coefficient that I'm just going to multiply at the very, very end of my problem. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the same step as last time. I'm going to say six times sine squared times sine squared. Okay. So I'm going to have six times my sine squared formula is one minus cosine of two X over two times same exact thing. One minus cosine of two X over two. Okay. Whoops. I wrote a four <laughs> already doing the multiplication here. Okay. So now again, I'm going to ignore that six for now. I'm just going to keep bringing it down all the way. And right now I'm going to focus on cleaning this complicated portion. Okay. So just like last time, I'm going to foil my numerators. So a, I'm going to bring down that six. One times one is one, one minus cosine of two X. And again, cosine of two X times one. And then a negative cosine two X, negative cosine two X is a positive cosine squared of two X. And all of this is divided by two over two, which is four. Okay. So remember how last time I divided each of them by four, I'm going to show you another option that you can use. If I brought down this six, instead of dividing all of this by four, I'm going to factor out a one over four. So it's going to be saying six times factor out a one over four. And now rewrite this numerator one minus, there are two cosines of two X plus this cosine squared of two X. So again, all I did, imagine if I'd multiply this one over four to all of this, I'd end up with what you see up here, just factored it out. So now I'm working with six over four times one minus two cosine of two X. And now I'm going to worry about cleaning this last exponent, just like I did on the last question. Okay. So cosine squared is one plus cosine of double what was inside. So if inside was a two X, now I double it to make a four X. And then all of this is over two. This is from my formula. Okay. So I can split this like I did last time and call this one over two plus half cosine of four X. Okay. And then all of this comes down the same. So I'm going to call this six over four, three over two, just to make my life a little simpler. Let's say three over two times, right? All of this is the same. Just going to draw arrows for now. 
So 3 over 2 times that 1 minus 3 over 2 times this 2 cosine, I'm going to call it 2 over 1, of 2x, okay, plus 3 over 2 times 1 half becomes 3 over 4, plus 3 over 2 times 1 half becomes 3 over 4, cosine of 4x, okay? So now, my next step is going to be to clean these twos and combine these two, okay? So if I want to combine these two, I do need a common denominator. Let's say if I want it to be a denominator of 4, I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2, okay? So here I end up with 6 over 4, and it's going to be added with a 3 over 4. Okay, so that's going to give me a 9 over 4, and now let's keep writing what I have left, which is this term and this term. So I have minus 3 over 1 is just 3 cosine of 2x, and you could have reduced that 9 over 4. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't reduce that 9 over 4. Listen to me, crazy teacher over here. Plus 3 over 4 cosine. All right, uh, if you could, I'm sorry, reduce that 9 over 4, you would at that point. And because I do not have any more exponents and all of my like terms are combined, I am done.